Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce a six variable K map, which is the next uh, calculation of five variable K map. In the five variable K map, we have seen the inputs consisting of total 32 number of min terms, two power five, so five number of uh, input variables. But here, six variable K map, which is the next version of the five variable K map. So two power six. Suppose if there are six input variables like a b c d e f then 2 power 6 will give you 64 number of combinations 64 number of combination that means how many min terms are there 64 min terms are there 64 min terms so it is not easy to simplify an expression boolean expression with six variables okay normally doing with a boolean equations uh, like a boolean formulae what we have seen uh, the four formulae four important formulae um, commutative law associative law distributive law and de morgan's law these four laws are not at all sufficient to simplify this okay that is uh, required but that is uh, using that only we cannot uh, simplify those uh, 64 min terms okay six variable min terms then we have to go for six variable k map and sometimes uh, the simplification using six variable k map is also not so easy okay that's why we have another method that is the coin mccluskey method or tabular form method in the coming videos i will explain how to simplify a six variable k map a six variable uh, boolean expression using coin mccluskey or tabular form okay before going to that coin mccluskey let us see how to uh, simplify using k maps okay so six variables nothing but how many variables are there six a b c d e and f okay in the previous version five variable k map we have seen we have taken two four variable k maps whereas those four variable k maps are giving the expressions related to b c d e okay in five variable k map up to e we have taken in this a to e we have taken b c d e for four variable k maps and keeping a as zero for one one k map and a is equal to uh, one for another k map okay that is fine but how to do that in case of six variable k map okay in the case of six variable k map here we should consider here we should consider four four variable k maps four four variable k maps by taking first k map first k map for a b is equal to 0 0 and second k map for a b is equal to 0 1 and third k map for a b is equal to 1 0 and fourth k map for a b is equal to 1 1 okay keeping these as common suppose a b for we have taken first four variable k map whereas a b belongs to 0 0 if any min term if any uh, prime implicant that is coming out from that particular first k map we have to append a bar b bar along with the expression whatever we are getting from that particular k map alone and similarly from the second k map we have to append a bar b from the third k map we have to append a b bar from the fourth k map we have to append a b and rest the remaining expression the rest of the expression is coming from the remaining C, D, E, F. 
okay we will draw the k maps here so six variable k map consists of four four variable k maps okay mapping is somewhat difficult here not so easy So like this we have to consider four, fair, four variable k maps in this particular format okay now as I said a b we have to leave a b and c d e f okay and here also we have c d e f c d e E F and this is C D E F. Okay, that means all the four four variable K maps are working with this particular C D E F alone. Okay, along with that, we also have this K map belongs to A B with zero zero. That means A is equal to zero, B is equal to zero. We already know this is zero 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 one. 1 1 1 0 and this is 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 ok so see here in the first case we have taken a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 in the second case a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 a is equal to 0 b equal to 1 here it is 1 and it is 0 ok 0 is already here it is 1 it is 1 ok that means this particular first k map okay let us consider this is the first k map and this is the second k map and this is the third k map and this is the fourth k map okay so first k map completely belongs to 0 0 that means if any expression coming out especially from this particular k map alone we have to append a equal to 0 b equal to 0 means a bar b bar and it is a bar b and it is a b bar it is a b like that okay and how to map how to map here any element in this okay i will take red color see if any element is here is here it is here it is here if any elements are like this then we can map all these four together see this is one set this is and this one and this one all four all four twos total eight eight min terms can be grouped together because all these are placed one by one one after another okay we have to assume that all these are placed one on another okay so mapping we have to do in that a way in that way we have to keep that point in mind that all these are placed one on another so that we can map them. okay suppose if any min terms are here and these four and here also we have min terms at the corners so total how many min terms are there total 16 min terms at the corners all these 16 min terms we can group together as a prime implicant hope you understand okay all these we can group because we can have all these on one on another to map 
So I'll tell. See here. Uh, let us write the locations. This is zeroth location, first, second, third, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Next, it starts from 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. This is 40, 41, 43, this is 42, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63 total 0 to 63 nothing but total 64 mean terms are there okay these are the locations of this particular six variable k map okay now i will tell few diagonal elements which cannot be mapped together which can, they they will not be adjacent to each other okay suppose if you are taking one alone if I am having a, an element, a min term in this particular 10th location and in this 58th location, listen carefully. I am having one element in this particular 10th location and 58th location. Can I map these two? We cannot because 10 and 58, these two could not be adjacent ones. They will be like diagonal ones. And similarly, 63, 15. And similarly, <laughs> 5 and 53. Similarly, 0 and 48. And in the similar way, 24, 40, 29, uh, 45, 23, 39, 18 and 34. All these are diagonal elements. They cannot come as adjacent ones. Okay. So, diagonal elements, diagonal elements, cannot be mapped for example so here in six variable k map what are the diagonal elements here min term in the tenth location comma min term in the 58th location this is one set and min term in the 15th location min term in the 63rd location min term in 18th location in term in 34 location in the similar way we have here also see 10 58 10 58 15 63 5 53 0 48 and the similarly here on the other hand side i'm writing 18 34 <laughs> 29 40 5 59 and remaining okay are not adjacent are not adjacent to each other. Are not adjacent to each other. Okay. I will write few possible two squares, four squares, and eighteen squares, uh, sixteen squares here. Few possible. Two squares here mapping of two min terms I am calling it as two squares four min terms as a four square eight min terms as eight square like that okay so two squares are we can map if there are ones in m0 and m16 okay 16 and zeros if they are having ones we can map these two and similarly 
another set is 10 and 42 16 48 m7 m23 uh, m23 55 and so on and similarly few possible 8 squares ok 4 square also there 8 squares m1 m3 m17 m19 m33 m35 m49 m51 okay if, if we are having once in all these locations then we can group them as a single square of eight adjacent ones okay so like this we can map the ones are um, that means the zeros are ones depending on the SOP and POS expressions okay uh, that means we can have we can have the variables the min terms as a bar b bar c bar d bar e bar f bar to all ones nothing but a b c d e f okay six zeros to six ones we have the min terms okay and similarly this is for p uh, sop sum of products similarly how can you write the pos form pos form if you are having in the same cells then it is a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f to j bar plus b bar plus c bar plus d bar plus e bar plus f bar this is in terms of p wise form okay so in the next video i will give you one example how to simplify the given uh, boolean expression min terms using this six variable k map okay thank you